Hello. Hi, Courtney. This is Rob Willigan. Hey, Rob. I'm sorry the last call dropped out. I was driving. I'm assuming it was a bad connection because that's often what happens when you drive. Um, I am the manager of the Appleton trial office. The person above me works in the Green Bay office. His name is Jeff Cano. If you have concerns, you can certainly reach out to Jeff because that's, that's how our agency works. Um, for what it's worth, my absolute obligation is to clients, all of them. It is always there. It is doing what they want. Well, my clients can have family members informed, and with their permission, I can reach out to family members. My duty is always to clients and not to other people. So if you... If you want to talk to Jeff and he can explain this to you, that's, that's well within your right. If there's something that you think needs to be brought to his attention, that is well within your right. Um, I am going to keep doing my best to zealously represent Gavin and to consult with him and make sure that whatever I'm doing that he's on board with and that I'm always giving him options. Um, but that's, that's how I handle my cases because that's how I'm obligated to do it as an attorney. And while I, I understand that people can, can disagree, um, family members, spectators, anyone else, again, my responsibility is to the client and ultimately to no one else. But that's, that's how we, we, we have to practice law. That's right. And it's good to hear you say that. So obviously Gavin signed a waiver at some point that you could talk to me. That's right. Okay. So obviously he wants, he, you know, I love him, Rob. He's my blood. I know him. He, he wants us talking, Rob. Right? Okay. And you're not talking to me. And when I ask you the hard questions, you kind of quit talking to me. Now I'm telling you right now on May 4th, when I was sitting in that courtroom, I overheard an inappropriate conversation about my nephew. So, w there's nothing you can do about that? You don't even want to hear about that? Do you think I've made it up here, Rob? Because if you're no. defending this kid, you should really be concerned about what I heard. Okay. But you're not. You seem even a little reluctant right now to even listen to it, Rob. How does this work? If you want to tell me something, then tell it to me, Courtney. I've got about 10 minutes before i got to run to my next hearing. It's not because I'm trying to avoid you. It's because I have other clients and other obligations. So can you summarize for me what you heard? Yeah, I heard the, the DA that was sitting there chuckle and laugh about the next case coming up, needing, uh, already having two cases in his uh, office and needing a special prosecutor for his other case coming up. Real okay. funny, isn't it? And they went on to talk about school shootings and even got to hear him say the word fuck. They're sitting right there. And the judge sure didn't stop it. He went on to talk about the Tempelis' uh, brother, who's a special prosecutor over there in Dane County. So you know what? I'm not sure what it all means, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't appropriate to say in front of me. And how do you think it feels to be sitting there and hear that? This isn't a laughing matter. So You're correct. It's not at all, and I am going to demand justice for this young man. And it's not my fault that I'm observing and seeing things. You know, you're not explaining. You didn't. You still to this day haven't told him or me what the numbers are that you did. And he hasn't spoken to you. He's very confused. He wants to speak with us together. And you're not telling him all the details. And it's important that he know him. So if you're too busy, <laughs> this is very disturbing. You know, all we ever, these were mental health calls, Rob. 
These were mental health calls for this kid. And I can't even get him help through man to through Outagamie County because he's in jail. I can't even help set up anything for him. And it's not right. This is there's I go to his hearing in Winnebago County. Ha! Huh. Wow. I'm gonna be sitting in on a lot more hearings, that's all I can say. Cause I think it just keeps it's happening, you know. I don't know what to do about the judge. That's why I w was hoping to talk to you, and I guess you're too, you're busy, you know, and I'm not oh, trying okay. to do anything to screw up Gavin's case, my God. But how dare I not, I am going to demand fairness here, an unbiased a judge to look at this. And now it's all kind of strange, isn't it? It's all in his hands. So what happens if I write a letter that's really not gonna be so good for Gavin? And I don't know what to do. How do I get somebody to listen to what I have and, and determine whether it was ethical or not? Is it my place to ask a judge to recuse himself? I don't know, do Rob. So, whether the judge will do it, I don't know. There he are already should have. Such as, there are considerations such as if this judge recuses himself, what judge are you going to get? You know what? Like we're going to, we, guess what judge we're going to get, Rob? We're going to get this settled, Rob. It's not my fault. It's not Gavin's fault. It's not your fault that the judge sat there and had that conversation in front of me. He deserves a fair trial. He deserves fairness. That's all we're asking. And I, you are correct, but what is fairness? I, I, you say that these are tough questions, and I'm avoiding them. But there's no good way to define no. fairness. If well, I person, is it appropriate? Another person disagrees. Is it appropriate? Inappropriate conversations should not happen in the courtroom. I agree with you. The uh, the ugly reality is that they happen every day. I am going to walk over to the courthouse to get to another client's hearing. I can almost certainly guarantee you that in one of the courtrooms in Outagamie County, there is some DA sitting with okay. the judge, cracking and making inappropriate jokes, and they're both laughing at them. Whether it will be the one that I walk into or a different courtroom, the chances of that happening are astronomically high. So you're saying that it's just commonplace. It's just correct, accepted. Correct. That is that is the horror of our criminal justice system. Not when, not in this day and age. Not when people are recording everything, Rob. Not really this day and age. So, you know, I get it. It's all fun and games, isn't it? That he's deciding the whole rest of Gavin's life. It's not fun and games. It's the reality. It's the reality that judges have this power. It's the reality that district attorneys have this power. And they lock and hold people up in custody as a result of that power. That is the scary, horrible truth. Well, the truth then, if there's nothing that can be done in the court, then it has to go to the people. And I have about 71 recordings now of all of this shit. That is good. That's the only thing we can do. What are we supposed to do? Wait for you to take the rest of his life from him. All we ever wanted was, a, do you understand that he's sitting there? He said to me yesterday, he understands now he's mentally ill, Rob. He's totally accountable. He feels terrible about hitting that guy. He doesn't even know who the guy was, but he gets it now. So he is on the right path. I know, and that's, that's why we've got to... I want to get him out as quickly as possible with the least amount he's of... He's under the impression... He's under the impression that you're getting him out on... He's going to serve 90 consecutive days in jail and he's out. That is wrong. I told him otherwise the last time that I talked to him. If he misunderstood that, then I will absolutely come talk to him again. But that is unfortunately not the reality. And yes, that I need to talk to him. And but, if he's not understanding what I'm telling him, but yes, that is a problem. I agree. It's a problem. Gavin, Go on. <sighs> there are only so many paths in the criminal justice system. If Gavin wants to fight every... If the judge is not going to let him out on a bond reduction, 
Gavin can fight the various cases that he has, and there's three of them, and he can have trials on all of them. We can try to get him trials as quickly as possible. Um, he can has a good shot of winning two of them, very good shot of winning two. The other one is with the hitting of the guard is much trickier because the guard was hit. There's no denying that. So again, he's going to be accountable for all these actions when all these years we've been saying he's mentally ill. And you got, he was, gee, he sure went through that public defender's office in 2021. I mean, he was, he was in jail the whole year, Rob. You all knew he was mentally ill. You all knew he was incompetent, too, every time you sat with him in a courtroom. And it took him punching a guy in front of you to go, oh, well, huh, Jesus Christ, he is mentally ill. Yep, two, 92 days in segregation. So, okay, so the we just have to wait and let the judge and, and you and what you guys are, de your dealings happen. And then he can sue civilly. Right? But there's no way to stop any of this and just get the kid the mental health that he needs, the work that, he, that he's only ever needed from out of Gamey County. Courtney, I wish I could stop it. If I could stop it, I would be stopping cases left and right. There are so many people in this county that are mentally ill and that are mistreated every day. And I wish I could just put a button and get them all out of jail and get them into the hospital and make sure they're working with doctors. I want that. I want that so badly at the end of the day, not well, for Gat, just for Gavin, but for so many other people. But it's, the system hasn't let me done that. I've tried it many times. I've been trying it for over a decade. And that, I, I, Okay, so I, then I, you I, know I, what, the, the there needs to be a reform. People need to be educated, and there's a big, giant, massively broken system here. And you perpetuate it. You do, and the judge does, because you're not being fair to him. He is not, he is a human being. And you have the audacity to go into court and act like his mental health is the number one thing, and you haven't given a crap about his mental health at all. So this is great. This is how this county treats mentally ill people. And I do. I, I, I didn't record the trial, but I have a recording of what that judge said. So I don't know how to pursue it. Maybe just YouTubing it. You know, I don't know, Rob. I'd like the kid to get the help he needs and not have to go through one more day. I believe it's, uh, what do you call it? I know there's some fraud here. So I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I would think you'd figure it out, and I know you're busy, but it's sure gotten big here. And even bigger when I went to his hearing in Winnebago County. Wow, jeez. This state is just batting. Mm. It's disturbing. So I am going to speak up, and um, I am going to continue to be an advocate for him. I guess keep going and doing what you're doing, Rob. He doesn't know what you're doing. Okay, I, my duty is to Gavin. I, I have to run now. I will meet with him. I will meet with him well before court. I will go over his options. He knows about the conversation with the judge. He knows about the conversation between the judge and the DA and the court reporter. And I absolutely will talk about all those things with him. Before your next hearing, right? Yes. Because it's not important enough for it to be brought up now, right, Rob? So I'll do it. I have other clients. I okay, have I'll take clients. care of it. I'll write my own letter. I'll have them recuse, whatever. It needs to be reviewed by someone and not you, apparently. So I'll take care of it, Rob, okay? Because you're working so hard for Gavin. Unbelievable. I know I won't hear back from you, Rob. So have a really great day, okay? Bye. All right.